I praise and thank God for this beautiful time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and morrow to thy bones. This scripture is coming as a warning from the Spirit of the Lord through the person who is known as the wisest person upon earth. The world looks at Solomon as the wisest person and desires to have knowledge and wisdom like him. But look at how, as to how the Holy Spirit is talking to us through the same person whom we all appreciate and admire. Remember, God does not give wisdom and knowledge to a man in its fullest. Omniscient God gives man the wisdom he needs for each situation only. When we read the book of Job, chapter 38, we can see how God is seeking answer for the questions that God has put before him related to this earth and the things in it. Poor Job, who was talking like a wise person, could not give any answer. And at the end, he says, I will lay mine hand upon my mouth. Not only Job, even the wisest person Solomon cannot answer the questions which God is asking. We have a small, short lifespan upon this earth and we cannot grasp all the depths of this small earth within this short time. And even God does not want our brain to be packed or stuffed with all the knowledge because it will do us no good until it is viewed upon in the right perspective. We know that this earth and the things related to it is for a short duration. This earth of ours and the heavens will be removed forever and then begins eternity with a new heaven and an earth which God has planned according to his foreknowledge. So about these worldly things, God wants man to learn many things concerning himself and the Almighty God, his Creator and Father. As this will help man to have a healthy relation with the Heavenly Father and it is important for his life in eternity. When man left the Garden of Eden, he thought his wife wise enough to live his life on his own. Man has gained understanding about many things around him and even now he is trying his best to do things using his knowledge and wisdom. But God warns him, be not wise in thine own eyes. The main thing that he needs to have in this life is the fear of the Lord. A man will have the fear of the Lord only when he understands who God really is and thinks concerning eternity. It is easy to fear the Lord when we remember about God's judgment and the burning hell. But God does not want man to fear him because he is afraid of hell. Before removing man from the Garden of Eden, he could have told one of his angels to take Adam and Eve for a short trip to hell and show him the evil spirits who are bound in the dark places. But God never did that because God does not want man to do anything out of compulsion. God wants man to fear him out of love, understanding the divine nature of God, so that man may depart from evil as he understands that it is displeasing to God and will affect his relationship with Holy God. We need to understand that we are not the masters of our life. We have a creator who loves and cares for us but he is also a just and righteous God. Many a time man forgets this aspect of God. But when a person seeks the knowledge of God, the Almighty God will reveal himself to him. But God who knows the thoughts of man's heart will do that only when he knows that we seek him sincerely out of love to know him more. It is not to gain some blessings, but to know the Heavenly Father more so that we may lead a life pleasing to Him. When a man seems wise in his own eyes, then he will not have the desire to know the Lord because he thinks he is self-sufficient for his life. 
here and he lacks nothing. Yes, that is true. As man using his knowledge can make his life better here and enjoy life to its fullest without the help of the Lord God. But evil with its sinful lusts is roaming around to grab each man to drag him to eternal hell. The poisonous sting of sin makes our bones weak, thus making us slaves of sin, who are helpless and have no strength to withstand evil and the enemy. But on the contrary, as a person fears the Lord and walks in his ways, Lord God makes him stronger day by day so that he is healthy and mature enough to know the wiles of the enemy and be prepared enough for life in eternity. So let us humble ourselves before the Lord, seek his wisdom and be strengthened in our faith and spiritual life so that we may grow to maturity and lead a life that's pleasing unto God. And may the Lord God help each one of us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for your precious word. Help us, Lord, to trust you and to have your fear in us because you are the master of this universe and the master of our life. We are here because of your grace. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to each one of us and help us to realize that we are not supposed to be wise in our own eyes. And we are supposed to fear you and depart from evil so that we can lead a healthy spiritual life. And may your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.